Met cheaptech.nl kun je tegenwoordig een MacBook clone kopen. Jawel, hij is mooi hè? Hij is net als echt. Het is de MacBook Air. En uh, ik zal een beetje dichterbij komen. I will do this uh, in English as well. I would like to present to you uh, the MacBook clone. It's the MacBook Air clone. And uh, yeah, it's like the real thing, yo. It's like the real thing. Het is net uh, echt. En hij kost 219 euro. It only costs 219 euros. That's about 240 dollars, maybe 50 dollars, something like that. I don't know the exact rate, but this is it, peeps. Uh, the only difference, het enige verschil is met dit, is this is not aluminium. This is plastic, my friends. And uh, we also gonna do a drop test. We gaan hem even laten vallen om te kijken of die stuk gaat of als die net als de echte Mac ook goed blijft. We gonna drop it to see if it breaks. Okay, there we go. One, two. You guys think I'm crazy? I'm not gonna drop it, man. You crazy? Yo, let me tell you something. Let me één ding vertellen. Als je zo'n ding koopt. Ja, ik heb hem uitgetest. Ik heb hem sinds gisteren. Ik zal je eerlijk vertellen, ik heb mijn Asus EEE PC, die 10 inch, weet je wel. Waar ik ook Mac Lion op had geïnstalleerd en waar ik veel filmpjes van gemaakt heb. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, these uh, Asus EEE PC, the 10 inch, the seashell that I, that I had. I traded it with a guy called Mart uh, through eBay. With this thing, he bought this thing, he got it brand new, you know, and um, well, in fact, we just traded. I gave him my Asus and he gave me this thing. And in fact, this thing has the same specifications, even better than the Asus, because this thing has 4 gigabytes internal memory. And it also has a dual core Anthem processor. So, this thing has an Anthem processor, a dual core Anthem processor, and it wordt geleverd met Windows 7. It comes with Windows 7. And, um, well, I can tell you why, would I, why was I saying about the drop test? Well, if you have a machine like this, you know, you must be careful with it. Don't go, you know, don't do that. You know, just. Treat it with kindness and with love because the hardware that is in here, I don't know how they did it. This thing is like the real, real thing. It's just industrial plastic. It's from industrial plastic. Look at these caps, man. It's so nice to type on this thing. It types so beautiful. Look at this light. You see this light here at the back? It really works, actually. If I turn off the PC, this thing goes off. In, in dark, let me show you, in, in the dark, this thing is like, well, I cannot turn off the lights now, I don't have my people, today is Sunday, you know, so I have to do everything uh, alone, but um, I can tell you, up here, at the back, you can see certain stuff that you can open, well, I would not open it, but up here, I think you can in, find the hard drive and the stuff, you know, I'm not planning to open uh, this thing because why? I installed Windows 8 on this baby. This thing comes with Windows 7. They didn't come with Windows 7 and that's what I want to talk about. It comes with Windows 7 and it's, you know, this thing must look like a Mac, right? So what did they do? They installed Windows 7 and they installed all these Mac uh, makeovers, you know, to let this thing look like a Mac. When it starts up, you got all these annoying things from Dr. Wong, you know, <laughs> including the toolbars and all the nonsense. So, you know, if you get this thing, you know, you do want to install uh, a version of Windows on it that you know that, you know, is really cool and free of all the nonsense so uh, what I did I just installed I still had my enterprise as you know I'm a Windows Windows beta tester official so um, I just uh, uh, got my 90 days version enterprise I still have it of course I'm very uh, careful with this uh, with these files and uh, I run it and the thing installed and Everything was found. Ik heb Windows 8 Enterprise geïnstalleerd. Ik ben een oude beta tester en ik heb natuurlijk al mijn CD's nog. En af en toe om te testen uh, uh, installeer ik dat op een bepaalde machine. Vooral deze. Ik kende deze machine niet. Uh, de vorige eigenaar die zei ook tegen me van hij heeft Windows 7 gereinstalled en het was een pain in the ass om al die drivers te vinden. Um, 
Dus daarom moet je met Driver Magician, voordat je dit gaat doen, before you're gonna install another version of Windows, go to drivermagician.com. I will put the link uh, for you guys and do a backup of the drivers. The backup is free. You know, the light, uh, Driver Magician Light, zo heet het, uh, is gratis. En als je dat zeg maar um, download, dan kun je een backup doen van al je drivers. Dan krijg je dus zeg maar een mapje, moet je zeg, zeg maar alles selecteren en dan. Uh, uh, maakt hij een, een backup van alle drivers en dan heb je dus zeg maar een mapje met al die onderdelen uh, met alle drivers. Dus stel dat je Windows dan weer gaat installeren en iets doet het niet, dan kun je daar die driver vandaan halen. Weet je, want niet al die drivers zijn echt ook uh, supported door Microsoft Windows. Maar, 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 uh, als je Windows 8 installeert, is alles out of the box installed. If you uh, install Windows 8 on this baby. Of course, they could not deliver it with Windows 8, but I'm going to tell you a secret. The Chinese are really smart people and they use really good hardware. Uh, the GMA uh, 3650 video card is in this thing. And uh, Windows 8 uh, gives it a resolution of the uh, standard uh, VGA driver of Windows 8, but you can go and get uh, the Windows 7 GMA, uh, what was I saying, 3650. A video driver for Windows 7 and that will work just fine on Windows 8 so you will have a resolution of 1280 by something else you know because now the screen is a little bit square and if you make video uh, your head looks a little bit weird what I say is that uh, is a driver for the 6 what say ik ook alweer? 3650 the GMA and um, die kun je dus zeg maar gewoon downloaden het is voor de Windows 7, maar hij doet het ook op Windows 8. Je kunt de driver gewoon downloaden en dan doet hij het. En tenminste, ik heb het nog niet uitgeprobeerd, maar ik assume, I assume that it's gonna work. I did not test it out yet, but I think it's gonna work. Because most Windows 7 just work fine for these things. So what can I say? Uh, should you buy a thing like this? Zou je zo iets moeten kopen? Well, um, if you want to do gaming, no. If you want to do... Uh, uh, music recording? No. Or you should use a USB external card because this thing, oh yes, let me show you, I never showed you guys. This thing has uh, has one USB port here at the side. Never showed you guys nothing, man. This thing has, look, I'm gonna show you. Here you have a, 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 a cable, how you call this thing? HDMI, yeah? And then you can connect it to your TV. Okay, so here we have uh, a SD card port and a USB port. So, up here we have another USB port. Here. And this thing here is uh, the, the jack output, but there's no microphone input. There is a microphone built in though, but that thing works really bad. And this is your, your LAN. You know, I don't want to break it, so I'm going to leave it. I'm never, go never going to use LAN. So, you know, this thing has Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi works perfect, yo. Also, uh, when I'm uh, all the way uh, in my uh, other room, it still receives Wi-Fi fully, fully, you know, even better than my other laptops. So, is this a good machine? Yes, it's a good machine. Should you buy it? If you can handle it with care and you ain't going to drop it and you're not some, some, some weirdo that's going to hit on it, you know? then you can you can buy it yes you know if you're if you know about computers if you know what you're gonna install this thing has four gigabytes of ram people wait let me show you the let me show you the let me come and sit here with you guys so i hope you can see something okay let me show you the specifications look at this mouse man this mouse pad this is a beautiful touchpad and um I'm gonna show you the specifications. We have right mouse click here on this thing, so that's really cool. <clears throat> oh yes, by the way, you can play music on this thing and the sound is really good, eh? The sound sounds good if you connect it to a, to a PA. Oh yeah, here you can see it. It's four gigabytes of RAM. Wait, hold on. I'm showing you the hard drive, uh, the hardware now, but I want to show you the specifications. Here you can see it's running Windows 8. I hope you can see it a little bit, peeps. It's uh, Windows 8 and um, what is it uh, more? It's uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and only 3 is usable because I'm uh, not running a 64-bit um, operating system. 
this is an Anthem processor, the CPU D2500, 1.8 GHz per processor, so that's really cool, 32-bit uh, operating system, and what more should you know, well, let me show you the uh, device manager, also open that one for you, and this was after the install, there was one uh, unknown device though, I, I, I don't know if you can see it here, this is the unknown device. I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's a headache because everything works. I have no problem with nothing. Maybe it's something for the keyboard because the the uh, volume up and volume down, you know, just like a Mac here, that thing, that part is not working. So I think it's something with the keyboard. But then again, I don't know where to find drivers for this thing. I don't know nothing about this thing. And uh, the only ones who knows about this thing here in my studio are um, are the software software packages that I'm having, you know, discovering the hardware for me and telling me, oh, you have this or you have that, you know, or in device manager, Windows can also tell you about the driver. Sometimes if it does not already has a, a, a driver for it, because then you will never know what kind of driver it is because Microsoft will replace it just like the VGA it will replace it with its own uh, standard VGA driver and you will not know that it's the GMA 3650 you know for instance so that's what it is um, so if you uh, as you as you sign the sign up the ding then can you buy it he is echt good I I find him I find him bijzonder leuk and he gives a leuk geluid wacht let me see if I can hear it horen Ja, dan krijg ik natuurlijk weer copyright complaints. Wacht even. Misschien heb ik wat eigen muziek hier zo. Ach, even een klein stukje. Komt ie. So I cannot really play the music, but uh, you must believe me, the music, the, you would believe it, the sound is good enough. Mooi stereo, comes ook mooi aan the zijkantjes. And what is the coolest thing of this laptop? What does this thing has uh, 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 in, um, what is the benefit of this laptop? Well, the benefit of this laptop, as you look at the back, there is no fan hole or whatsoever. You can put this baby on your leg, you can put it on your bed, you know, just make sure that the back here, you know, doesn't get stuck up, because up here the fan is running, you know, you can feel the the fan giving nice cool air up here. So, yeah, this is a beautiful device. I uh, will take the cam for you and bring it a little bit closer so you can see this beautiful beautiful laptop it's uh it's exactly as the macbook look how thin she is look how thin uh, i must say when you close the lid i will close it and then she will turn off automatically it doesn't close too really nice look here you see it will bang a little bit so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get some glitter band glitter band you know what that is <laughs> my dutch people know what's glitter band i'm gonna put a little bit here and a little bit there i don't know if it's gonna look nice but i think yeah i can i can put just a little bit here and then and a little thingy here and then when you close it then you know it will be closed but then again yeah don't you think it looks beautiful Look how thin. And you know also what's nice about this laptop? It's not so heavy. It's really light. I I don't know how much this thing weighs. Hold on. Let me go let, let me let me get the weight. Then we're gonna see how much this thing weighs. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna tear it it's it's teared on zero. So I'm taking the laptop now and I'm gonna put the laptop on top. I don't hope that it's too heavy. The laptop is 456 grams. I hope 
I really hope you can see it there. Can you, can you read it there? It's 429, 28, 23 grams. 423 grams. You know, um, 423 grams is really nice and light. And it might let you think that this thing is not good. That it's not powerful. And that it's not strong. Well, let me tell you my friend, that is an illusion. This thing has a dual core processor. And the only reason why this thing is legal is because nowhere here you can see it's Apple, you know. And if this thing was made from aluminium, as the thing for aluminium was gemaakt, then maybe it would be a bigger problem. But every idiot can see that this thing is plastic. You see, you cannot, a real Mac, a real Mac, you can open just like that. This one you must open with two hands. Don't try to open it with one hand. Be gentle to it. You see? Be very gentle to it. And to put it on, you press this button here. One <laughs> that is at the exact place as the delete button of your other laptop. So, you know, the delete is here. So you must be careful not to press this button because when you press it, you know, it will go off. But in Windows, you can of course say to the thing not to uh, not to do that. You know, when you press the button, that it, that nothing happens. You know, you can set that in in uh, in. And you see how fast it starts up, peeps. Don't kid me, eh? No kidding me, man. Don't tell me this is not good. This is very good. It's a very, very good machine. This machine will let you um, do all your stuff if you're a normal user. Well, if you want to do uh, screen video capturing with voice and camera, I made one yesterday. The voice and the and the and the and the how you call it? The voice and the and the video was totally out of sync. Eh? totally out of sync the thing was showing me something totally different so um, it's not too powerful to do things like that at least um, I didn't get it to uh, to work fine I'm trying to look here I did need the two hands and uh, this is just, uh, of course, Windows 9 Enterprise. You see that? <laughs> so uh, now, nah. this thing is just fine, yo. It uh, it's good enough to do everything you want to do. And if you also like the design of Mac of Apple, then you have a cheap one on this one. Eh? As you ook uh, van het uh, Mac uiterlijk houdt, als je van de stijl houdt van Mac. Ik vind het een super, super leuk machientje om te zien. Hij is super sexy en uh, ziet er goed uit. Alleen, je moet er erg voorzichtig mee zijn. Vooral als je het scherm you know, open en dicht doet. If when you open the screen and close it, the lid. You know, you must be careful with it. Treat it with care. The hardware inside is very good. Also, this one comes with a little hole wherein you can plug in uh, a 19 volt 2 ampere uh, adapter any 19 volt 2 ampere adapter will do 2 ampere or higher and uh, this one is not with uh, the magnetic uh, thingy just like the apple because this is not the apple but in my next video I'm going to try to install Mac OS X on this thing. I'm going to try to make a hacking touch of this baby. But I got to get to know the hardware a little bit better. I got to know about the chipset. I know it's an Intel chipset. So, you know, it's all good. This is a complete Intel machine, people. Make no mistake. You know, if um, the outside was a little bit different or they would put another a name on it like Asus or something like that you would pay like 700 bucks for the same thing 
you know, although probably the hardware would be a little bit better. Well, not saying that this hardware is bad, it's not bad at all, you know, it's not bad at all. You know, it has 4 GB of RAM. You can run uh, a 64-bit operating system on this thing. It's not bad at all, man. The thing has Wi-Fi, the thing has network, the thing has, the thing has everything, yo. Only the sound of the microphone is really low. You know, when you want to record a video and you want to uh, narrate over it, you got to shout really hard, you know, you got to talk loud, you know. Otherwise, the thing won't hear you. So that sucks. So, and you cannot stick in a microphone somewhere to... That also sucks. I don't know why they did that. So, that is that is a pity. Also a pity that they put so, such a low microphone in the thing that, that you cannot adjust up here. Oh, but maybe, maybe, hold on. You know, maybe it's also something else. Maybe it's the driver. Maybe I have a wrong driver for this, for this thing. So, I have to discover much more about the hardware before I can tell you um, exactly uh, how this thing is and you know how it works but for now I can tell you this thing it works just fine you know if you would go out there to go buy uh, some Asus EPC or some other netbook I would go for this one by the way this thing has no DVD player or whatsoever if you want to install Windows you know you got to do it through the USB and if you don't know how to do that you must watch one of my videos where I show you how to uh, create a bootable USB stick for Mac or even Windows anyway this was it uh, ik vond dit echt uh, een leuke review om te doen ik uh, vind een leuk apparaat en uh, dit apparaat kun je kopen bij cheaptech.nl you can buy this at cheaptech.nl and uh, up there you can buy this uh, beautiful laptop for low as 219 euros thank you for watching if you like this information please hit this video like and subscribe to my channel as you did video to leuk vond and um, yeah whatever hit that even like yeah even even like click for you weg gaat and Dan zeg ik ook nog, uh, en abonneer op mijn kanaal natuurlijk, zodat je meer filmpjes van mij kunt zien in de toekomst. Dit is Puk met uh, de beautiful MacBook Air clone, te koop bij cheaptech.nl. Oh ja, nog één belangrijk ding. Ik heb niks met cheaptech.nl te maken. En ja, dit is unofficial. Dus ik ken cheaptech.nl niet en uh, ja, deze laptop is uh, mij zo aangeboden met van het komt van cheaptech.nl. Vandaar dat ik jullie vertel dat jullie deze bij cheaptech.nl kunnen krijgen. Oké, okay? tot mijn volgende video. Bye bye.